Now I'm in my classroom and I'm ready to give my students an assignment. So what I do is I come down here to this plus sign, click on that, and then I click create assignment. My assignment that I'm giving to my students is their research. So I'm going to put research notes and then for my description I'm going to say activate background knowledge and take notes. Okay. Now I can change my due date here if I want to. I'm going to leave that time right there just because. And then my optional time here, let's say that I teach this class first hour and first hour ends at 9.30 and I want my kids to have this turned in at 9.30. I can change this so that it is 9.30 a.m. or any of these. So now this is due at 9.30 a.m. I'll hit save there. What I'm going to do is go into my drive and here's what my drive looks like and remember I have this classroom folder. Okay this is the document that I want my students to be able to use and then all of these different folders I have are because I have that many Google Classrooms. I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it into using Google Classroom and I just get that notice there saying are you sure you want to share this and I do. Okay I'm going to go back in here now and I can attach any kind of a document, maybe I have a Word document or a PDF or something like that, I can upload that using this. I can attach a Google Drive item, which is what I'm going to do. I could attach a YouTube video to this, or I could attach a link. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to this Google Drive item, and I'm going to go into my classroom folder. I could search for my item if I wanted to right here, but I know that my item, my uh, document that I want is in this one. So I'm just going to click on that and notice now since I've clicked on it, it's turned blue right here and then I hit add. Okay, now over here it says students can view file. That means that my students could look at this but they could not do anything with it. So if I click on that, if I choose students can edit file, that means everybody's going to be editing this one document. What I want to do here is make a copy for each student. So I'm going to click on that. Now at this point, I can add any other links, YouTube videos, or so on to this. So let's say that I add, I want my students to use KidRex if I'm teaching elementary. It's www.kidrex.org. I'll add that. And then let's also say that I have a YouTube video about searching and how to choose an appropriate link. Then I might go over here to add this YouTube video. And then I will either paste in the URL here or I can search for the video here. I'm going to type in custom Google search and then it's giving me all of these here. Then let's say I just click that one and then hit add. So now I can either assign or save as a draft. So what I am going to do is hit assign. And then here's my assignments telling me none of my students have turned it in and right now it says zero have done it either or zero have not done it either. And the reason for that is because I don't have any students in my course. If I did have students in my course you'd be able to see this. So let me give you an example of that. Here's another course that I have and so you can see here that four people have done this. One person has not. And here's another one where it says no one has done this, but it says no one has finished. Five people have not done it. So I can always see what the ratio is there. So you remember here that I have said that I want each student to have a copy of this document here. Here's the way this is going to look. And here is one of the huge benefits of signing this so each student gets a copy. Let me give you an example. 
Okay, this is another classroom I have. This is my group one classroom. And so you can see here, all of these different folders are the assignments that I have given my students. And then the rest of these are just items that I know that I want to be able to use with my students. If I go in here to this vacation flyer, this was also something where I gave the students just a blank document and said, I want you to create a vacation flyer. So you can see here, it's called vacation flyer, but then whenever it is assigned to the student, their name goes on the end. So they did not add that. That automatically was added to their document. And if I go back in here, the vacation flyer is actually just a blank document. It doesn't even have anything on it. So with this, I gave my students a particular template I wanted them to use, but if I just want every kid to write a research paper and they are going to be able to just create this, type it however they want or whatever it might be, then I'm just going to make a blank document called research paper in my drive and then I'm going to assign it so that each student gets a copy. Very, very handy to be able to have that in there. And now, whenever my students go to their assignments, see I'm going to go here, then my students will see, if I go to just this one right here, what they need to do. Okay, so again, I can see that no one has done this. And then whenever my students complete it, they are going to have, instead of to review and reviewed, they're going to have done and not done. Whenever they turn in an assignment, it will automatically mark it as done. But if it is a situation like this one right here, where it was just go watch this video and then let's talk about it, then they would actually have to go up and mark done. And then you can see all of the different assignments that I've been given and what my completion rate is with those. Just like my students are going to have to mark something as done or not done, I am going to mark that it is it has been reviewed. So for this one, I'm going to click right there and click Mark as Reviewed. So now it's no longer on my list. This is just a way to keep things cleaned up nice and neat. If I go over here to Reviewed, there it is. So you can see from this that using Google Classroom to provide assignments is going to make things much, much easier for you. And the fact that you can automatically get student names and you can cut down on the amount of paper that you're using. Plus, you can track the progress.